When Apple releases a research paper around a it's very important that we pay attention to it. This paper deep dives into the limitations of large language model and specifically focuses on mathematical reasoning. I have talked about the evaluation of large language models by far and large in a lot of my previous videos. And I've also commented on the fact that the matrices that we use, for instance, the one that is used here, which is GSM-8K, these are very, very basic benchmarks. So, uh, GSM-8K actually is elementary school mathematics that to US specific. So it requires basic mathematics understanding and not very complex. Now what this paper does is deep types and highlights some key areas. So I'm going to scan through the paper, at least the key elements and talk through it and you know share notes. So please stick around if you're interested in a deep conversation around understanding the limitations of mathematical reasoning in large language model. Essentially, the first part abstract is the most important here. And it very clearly calls out that the current GSM 8K benchmark that is used to assess the mathematical reasoning of models is very, very great school. It's the, the performance of the LLMs on benchmark specifically has significantly increased. However, the question that comes out is, are they really having mathematical reasoning or is it a function of the underlying training data which they have been incrementally tuned around and also the benchmark itself is very very limiting so what apple has done in a bunch of researches this is like 20 days old paper so what they have done is to overcome the limitations of the existing evaluations they have introduced something called as gsm symbolic which is a much improved benchmark from the symbolic templates. So that allows the generation of wide variety of questions. So instead of direct questions being fed, it gives some parameters like names, numbers, etc. So the kind of questions can vary. This kind of gives more uh, controlled evaluation techniques as we will see. And it also gives you more reliable matrices to measure the overall reasoning of the model. Overall findings, which is I've highlighted in a different color in the, yeah. LLMs exhibit noticeable variance when responding to different instantiations of the same question. This means that if you ask the same question differently, the answers or the responses vary. This should not happen because this is a mathematical question. The way you approach, let's say a simple, you know, arithmetic problem or a sentence driven problem that that shouldn't, you know, impact the answer fundamentally speaking. Also specifically the performance of all models and this is big, all models decline when only numerical values in the question are altered in the GSM symbolic benchmark. So numbers are not best friends for them. And what they have also understood is that there is a lot of fragility in the mathematical reasoning of these models and they have demonstrated that their performance deteriorate as the number of clauses increase. So you add more complexity in the maths fails. And I think the hypothesis is that that the current LLMs are not capable of genuine or genuine logical reasoning as they call it. And they attempt to replicate the reasoning steps observed in the training data. This is what I said. Now, can you solve these problems? Is this like a okay shut down LLM state? No. A lot of these can be solved by good prompting and good COT. A certain models have realized that like O1 preview and we'll see a lot of improvements in this space. This thought or this narrative applies to the mathematical reasoning parts so of problems that are very, very mathematical or arith arithmetic in nature. So don't use LLMs to probably do your aggregate operations and things like that is what this is essentially saying. But yeah, let's let's keep diving in. So the, on the left hand side, you have the GSM 8K data. So it says when Sophie watches her nephew, this couple of entities, there's like a word sentence problem, right? So how do you solve it is essentially what is done here. But the symbolic template kind of changes it slightly. It expands on it and, you know, it lays out that these are variables, these are ranges, etc. So it's much more controllable in the sense of you can look at different dimensions in the data in the in the sample itself which is the gsm symbolic 
and then you have created a template so instead of sophie you have name that is getting repeated and then you have total as parentheses and things like that so there is a question being asked and a lot of variables and conditions being generated the answering approach also changes here but that's that's absolutely cool so that is what is gsm symbolic fundamentally what they have talked about and going forward I, i'm just going to glance through and move forward to the key areas now this is where what they have concluded is the performance of all of the state of the art models on gsm symbolic drops compared to gsm 8k fundamentally pointing to the fact that there is some kuch in the whole benchmark itself the benchmark itself is not good which means that the evaluation technique that we were saying and these guys were publishing that okay we have beaten that 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 is kind of you know not good they have given a comparison the dip actually is most dominant in probably mistral and then gemma and then gemma different variants then all of that and then finally gpt40 is actually where the lowest is so so the percentage drop is the least in gpt40 which also proves another point that 40 series of models are good of the lot overall they have done a lot of comparisons wouldn't get into all of the case scenarios here but essentially this opens up the question right how fragile is mathematical reasoning in large language model it turns out it is very very poor and as per their observation as you increase the difficulty of changes you know you change from num names to numbers the performance drops and the variation variance increases and the overall theme is that the reasoning capabilities of state of the art llms are fragile for the reasons that they have talked about in the paper again the benchmark is different the questions and the matrices are different you'll have to go through the entire set of paper to understand it but they have different levels of complexity in this so they have gsm symbolic m1 they have p1 p2 and these are more complex math problems and as complexity increases they have very clearly demonstrated that the quality decreases the quality of answering decreases so they have very clearly demonstrated that the models are highly susceptible to performance degradations or drops and specifically if information has not been part of their uh, training distribution so they are relying overall by far and large on pattern matching so that 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 problem is coming up and again they have proven around with the accuracy drops etc and uh, there are a bunch of variations like no op which more recent models experiencing a greater decline than the older one etc certain models are have have actually in the paper they have talked about like open preview has been relatively decent now while we are chasing larger models reasoning models thinking models we are also looking there is an era or discussion going around small language model these kind of papers will actually dent that and finally the conclusion is very very clear that their extensive study clearly reveals that there is a significant performance you know degradation happening a lot of variability is there even if you ask the the same different instance of the same question and they kind of challenge the whole benchmark itself that is it good to rely on a single point matrix for these kind of works the second is that uh, there is a critical flaw in the ability to genuinely understand maths i mean i don't know whether the understand part can be solved by feeding all the mathematics textbooks or not but again the argument can be these models are glorified pattern matching systems uh, as a lot of people seem to call it there are you know two schools of thought i'm not saying which one i follow i'm just saying there are some people who believe that these llms can do a lot and there are other people who are very clear about that they are great but with limitations and i think personal opinion i'm inclined towards that school can you solve a significantly large number of problems with this can you do research well can you do summarization well can you do uh, you know unstructured data processing well can you have an interaction with people can you build data driven workflows yes to all but should you rely on this to do complicated analytical queries probably not or at least there has to be a much more deeper uh, prompting system in place verification system in place and what not so that's the thought and finally they have also kind of clearly called out that the high variance in llm performance on different versions of the same question their substantial drop in performance with a minor increase in difficulty 
is proving that the reasoning is fragile. And finally, they also have reminded very clearly that we remind the reader that both of these benchmarks, which is GSM-8 and GSM-8 symbolic, are relatively simple grade school mathematics, which is what I think I talked about originally, that these are very basic mathematical operations. And if you are, uh, we are watching this video from India, you would know that kind of mathematics taught in India compared to what start outside is significantly different. The complexity is different. So these are like babies at solving math problems. But again, great step. And I think they're concluding on a very positive note that there has to be a lot of more research, but the research needs to go a little beyond the pattern recognition modality to achieve the more generalizability, which has been a problem in our modeling or AI by far and large forever. So yeah, that is the challenge that this field has to solve and hopefully with newer modeling techniques, with newer, you know, distillation techniques that are coming around, some of these problems could be solved. All right. So this was a super deep paper. Highly, highly suggest you guys read it. Couple of passes will be required. I've just highlighted the most important section. So if you have liked this video, hit the subscribe button and until next video.